Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Note Closer Show Valentine's Day edition. I think we're episode 53, uh, which is awesome. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. For those of you that are in the east part of the country, try to stay warm. For those of you who are in California, try to stay dry and avoid the floods, all right? Um, <clears throat> it is Valentine's Day. It is a day of love here this Tuesday, November, uh, November, February 14th. And uh, uh, cracking up, trying to have a good time here. We were making people laugh this morning with some of the great marketing with Scott Cupid out there. Uh, try not to spill the coffee or uh, spill your lunch when you check it out. But one of the funny images <clears throat> that we put together. But uh, I want to thank everybody that joined us last night for how to get some ass on Monday night. <laughs> Had a couple people that were upset this morning that you had nasty emails to me, which is okay. If you don't have a sense of humor, I don't want you in my database anyway. So, But we had a good turnout there. Um, and Chase, for those of you guys that missed it, offered up some amazing Valentine's Day love for those who were interested in making it to the Marketing Madness event that we're hosting this Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, I know many of you, hey, can't jump on a plane, come down to San Antonio and spend three days with us. But we have the option for you to be able to join us virtually <clears throat> via fly on the wall. Uh, be able to join in and, and catch the replays as well. So we've also got some love. A little bit of a discount, a Valentine's Day special discount for those that are interested. So, if you go to the website, you want to type this in, bit.ly slash marketing madness chase, where the M and the, the M's are capitalized and the C and chase. Yeah. <clears throat> bit.ly slash marketing madness chase and use the special code Valentine's or Valentine, you'll get $250 off the $9.97 price for the in person. But if you want to make it out for the virtual, all you have to do is a special code virtual, and the V is capitalized in both of those, virtual, and that'll give you it a half price, at basically, you know, at 500 bucks to join us online. And yes, it will be recorded. Yes, you'll be able to catch everything live there in person over the internet Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, but it'll also give you a guide to go back as we literally hold your hand through a ton of great marketing ideas, implementations, and not just theory, but literally ways to help you, right. to help assist, strategize, and support you. So, uh, excited about that, but use the special code VIRTUAL to get it at 500. Use the special code VALENTINE to get it at the 750 price, or $250 off. So, we're really excited about that. Chase made that decision last night. I'm like, that's great. <clears throat> Pretty excited about that as well. So, it's going to be a good event. Um, other than that, guys, we are rocking and rolling. What are the biggest things that... I want to talk about today besides that is what aspect of the note business do you love? What is it that you love so much about notes and the note business? Okay. Now, one of the great things that I love, I who doesn't love high returns, right? I love the fact of making deals happen all across the country, not just my backyard. Uh, I love the fact of on the education side of helping so many people overcome their obstacles and hurdles to find success and make things happen. Uh, in real estate investing or in the note business. So what's the biggest facet that you love? Now, I know we have a lot of new people on that watch these on a daily basis. One of the things that I also love about the industry itself is while it's a niche market, there is a lot of love that goes on in this niche market. A lot of people believe in the coopetition facet of this business. Yes, everybody cooperates and works together, but there's also a lot of friendly competition going back and forth. There's plenty of deal flow out there. So anybody have any comments about that? Uh, Nicole, maybe you want to post the Valentine's Day Cupid of me I in there? In the post. In yeah. the post. In, in, yeah. Uh, Matthew Fisher said, damn, Cupid in the house. Cupid in the house, baby. Uh, uh, oh, Pepe Le Pew loves some massive LOI, or oh, ROIs. Massive sorry. ROIs. That's good. It's a high return on investment with a little bit of extra work there. And that's uh, Christine, Christine Fuller says rehabbing the bar is what I look forward to doing. Yeah, rehabbing the bar is a great way to spread some good karma. I'll give you an example. I had an email from yesterday from a student of ours in California, and they bought a note um, in Indiana, I believe it was, um, relatively cheap. It's worth in the mid-30s to 40s. The bar had already moved out of the property. Okay, bar already moved out of the property, and they bought this note relatively cheap. Very cheap. We're talking like just a few thousand dollars. And they've got a renter in there ready to rock and roll to ready to move in at six hundred dollars a month. But the bar has contacted and said, Listen, I'd like to move back in. I got a thousand dollars to bring to the table and I can start making my three hundred and forty seven dollar a month payment. 
Now, if you look at the ROI on that aspect, that's a pretty good ROI based on the fact that, hey, they're probably going to see a 50% yield in the first year if they let the guy stay in. Now, of course, if he finishes the foreclosure, which is scheduled in less than two months, and puts a renter in there at $600 a month, his cash flow is a lot higher, but he also has a lot more, eh, yeah, probably have a little bit few more headaches with dealing with toilets and tenants in a renter versus an owner mindset. So he's got some flexibility on that stuff, but he's like, I'm probably going to go with a karma round. Probably going to let the guy move back in. I'm like, hey, if you can bring the thousand dollars to the table, he's got some skin in the game. Maybe boost his payment up, maybe an extra hundred dollars per month, because the guy's only a year behind. So he's not a total deadbeat <laughs> bar, but he's got a little love in his heart for that house. He's got a little pride of ownership. He wants to stay <laughs> in. So. What are some other facets that you guys love about real estate in general? All right. Anybody got any comments? Not yet. They're just cracking up at me yeah. crying over here. Don't cry. I ever spilled Valentine's. Uh, honestly, guys, it's all about changing lives for the most part. Because I think that's one of the great things about note business is when you really share some of the stories that you have with borrowers and helping them overcome obstacles and help them out of a bad situation, out of a hole, it's a good feeling. It can really tru truly be a win, win, win. Now by a win, 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 I mean a win for us as investors, obviously, but a win for the borrowers, their modifications or letting them get out from under debt or just letting them walk away from a bad nightmare. It's also a win for the banks or the sellers because they get rid of this bad debt that's killing their books. Now, especially if you're buying from banks, they're buying from hedge funds. Hedge funds have often bought the stuff at a a substantial discount anyway in bulk and they're making a profit selling it to you as well now some of them are a little bit greedier because it depends on how they purchase the asset now a lot of people uh, who have been dealt with a couple funds that focus on BK chapter 13 loans get upset at their extreme pricing for their non-performing stuff well you have to realize if somebody's buying a BK chapter 13 loan they're often paying at a premium because there's a payment plan lined up for it it's not gonna be picking anything about 40 50 cents a dollar it'll be closer to 50, 60 cents on the dollars what they paid for the asset. So they've got to sell the asset at a price that makes sense for them, especially if they've got attorney's fees and foreclosure costs already implemented into it and taxes and other things. So while you may not have a lot of love for those guys, you have to understand what they're coming from to understand it. So <clears throat> what else? What are the types, what are the things that you guys love about the note business? Matthew Fisher says the real estate game is always about helping the more helping about more people long-term, short-term versus corporate America. Yeah, corporate America. Yeah. Is he speaking in Ebonics? I don't know. <laughs> it's always about it, helping people more along the long-term than the short-term. Yeah, versus corporate America. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. I mean, sometimes you can't help people. Sometimes people will have their head shoved so far up their ass, they're not going to be able to help you. And so sometimes, sometimes the love you have to have with them is a good swift kick in the butt and a come to Jesus meeting. Um, I, I got plenty of people that work at jobs that enjoy their jobs and they enjoy the note stuff on the side. So I, I can agree partially with it, Mr. Matt, Mr. Fish. Um, it is Taco Tuesday for you. Some people said that Valentine's Day is just another ex excuse for Taco Tuesday. So uh, Christina Fuller says it's a great investment when the economy takes a downturn. Um, yes, I would say it's a little bit recession proof because you're usually buying the debt at 50% of current market value or less. Or if the market does take a downturn, you're in a much better position than if you were buying an REO or rental at 70, 80 cents on the dollar. You still got plenty of equity working for your side, on your side there. So, um, you know, Valentine's Day, guys, it's a interesting day. Um, how do you get loving? Now, let's talk about a little big thing about raising capital. Today's a holiday, okay? It's a working holiday. It's a great way for you to communicate with your database. Now, somebody mentioned last night in the webinar about coming up with a game plan, a marketing game plan. And, and what do I communicate to my database? And how do I come up with a schedule? Well, you can work your schedule around. The, the uh, one great marketing piece is to send out around the holidays. Have we not been working on Valentine's Day for a few days? Right, yeah. Ken? Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were like, oh, it's Valentine's Day. Let's do something fun. Fall yeah. in love with notes, okay? <clears throat> Let's talk about the days of the year that you can use as a marketing piece. Obviously, January, you've got New Year's Day. All right. Um, and, President's and President's Day. February, you got Valentine's Day right in the smack dab. March, you've got the Ides of March or Spring Break. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is a prime one. Gives you a reason to market and wear green and drink green beer. Why not? And pinch people. And pinch people. Exactly. <laughs> um, April, you've got April Fools. April Fools. You've got 
tax season. Yep. You also have Easter too, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, uh, March. You also oh, February. You also have Groundhog Day. Don't forget that we used that in our marketing two weeks ago. Um, May. You've got Memorial Day. Cinco de Mayo. June. What do you have with June? June, June, June. Uh, Father's Day. Father's yeah. Day, that's right. May, you've got Mother's Day as well. Yes. <clears throat> July, you got 4th of July. August, you got kids going back to school and some other thing in there. September, you've got September 11th. Uh, or what Labor is it? Day. Day. Labor, and Labor Day. October, you got Halloween. All right. November, you got Thanksgiving. December, you got Christmas. So, literally, you could have already one marketing piece already figured out just around those holidays. That's 12, well, we need what, 15, 16, something like that? That's 16 marketing pieces. There's your calendar. There's how you provide content. There's how you jab, jab without always asking to invest, invest, invest. Do things that are like that, you'll crack up, all right? Trust me, I enjoy making people laugh. Even if they don't like me, I'm fine with that. They will laugh. The you hear the little beeps going on as people commenting on my Cupid photo across the website, <laughs> website, which is completely fine. So, what other things, guys? <clears throat> Can Chris, you? Christina Fuller says her my husband loves notes because my his wife oh. loves notes. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> about right. uh, Matthew Fisher, nice and Gary Vee style. You talk about you, I think. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can call me the Scotty C style instead of the Gary V. <laughs> you, me, and Scotty C. <laughs> hey, there's my theme song right there. Uh, you and me. Scotty doesn't know, so don't <laughs> tell Scotty. <laughs> so, the, besides your marketing calendar, there's you got count. You got 12, 15, 20 days there that can work. For, that's like 20 weeks. That's almost half your marketing. It could be another thing. Could be the Note Bowl. Like we did Super Bowl weekend. All right. You also have uh, going back to school. You know that would be a great piece to maybe write about educational savings accounts or Coverdale's or 529 plans. If you're talking about that, or uh, special events that some of your self-directed IRAs. You know, the, the thing is, there's plenty of content out there, everybody. There's no wrong content. A lot of people get so bogged down and oh, what do I do? Well, just start doing something. Pick something. Plan out your calendar. You can look at our calendar in here. I'm going to spin this around. Jen, it's coming right at you there. Hello. Okay. So you see, yep, Jen's trying to hide there. <laughs> She's going underneath the desk. That's all documented there. So you see, that's our calendar for the year, which we're already six months out. Well, we've got stuff through July for the most part. Okay. And that's the calendar for last year over there. You know, to the right. A ton of stuff that we market to. That's not even everything we do. Okay. So when Jen's finished hiding underneath the desk here in a second, they, you guys even have a calendar, right, Nicole? We do. You yes. have a calendar. I have a about calendar. Events. We have a calendar above uh, Greg. Mine's more detailed about the, the, the month. Yeah. And we have our desktop. We have our desktop calendars. calendar and everything. Ryan's marketing on a regular basis over there, right, Ryan? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and Greg over here, the quiet one, is also doing things. Uh, stuff. The calendars you see behind Nicole there, uh, it's okay, oh, you're oh. fine. There's a monthly and a weekly calendar you, you know, uh, Steph uses. So she's got one for upcoming month, one for the, the previous month of different things. And she rotates through that stuff for different bills, different events, uh, bookings, and things like that. So, But I work off of those two 12-month calendars right there that you see above Jen's head. Okay. Um, Ingrid asks, how many heart-shaped scarves does Scott own? Well, two. we had two. We had two, Ingrid. And Quest, you, Rebecca has the other one, which you know very well. I just showed up there for Wind Down Wednesday two weeks ago. <laughs> so I grabbed the last two of these I saw at Pottery Barn, one for us and one for Quest, because Quest is doing an amazing two-for-one special as well for February. You can fall in love with your self-directed IRA. So if you go to Quest IRA and sign up, you can use the special code Love Quest, I think is the special code, all caps, and that'll help you uh, get two for ones if you're wanting to start a self directed IRA or Roth, a, uh, a set plan, whatever, a whole variety of different accounts there, an educational account. Uh, they've got a special going on through this month, a two for one, fall in love with Quest IRA. I think there's a video of me flaunting this <laughs> at their offices from a few weeks ago on Instagram. Also, guys, if you'd like to, make sure you go out and follow us on Instagram by looking for One Scott Carson. You can also follow Quest's uh, Instagram account. They've got a new Instagram account by looking for them as well. 
So it's a great way to connect with their IRA investors. You're ra waving your hand at something? I was going to tell Greg to post. Oh, I'm doing it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. What other comments does everybody have? Did, did I have a red shirt just for this event? I've already had this shirt. Okay. <laughs> had this shirt for a little while. Just haven't been able to wear it in a while until now. So, <laughs> yeah. Whoop, whoop, exactly. But uh, it's all about being having fun, everybody. Life is all about what you make of it. And sometimes being too serious will get you too crazy. And sometimes overthinking things, going with the simplest and the most obvious thing, works the best. Okay? Literally works the best. We have a lot of marketing meetings, don't we, guys, where we sit down and just brainstorm on different ideas? Yep. Yeah. We're 60, we're just right at 60 days out from Note Camp 3.0, too. Next, next week. Next, next week, week. Is three, it's, three, it's 60 days. So you start seeing a lot of great marketing for the next Note Camp. Ooh, we're excited. We might have to do a Fifty Shades Darker of Note Camp. <laughs> okay. I think I might have to do that in the next... I the yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Fifty Darker Deals. <laughs> uh, good stuff, everybody. So, any other questions, comments, on what they love about the Note business? No, no. We're pretty quiet. Kind of quiet today. Uh, they're busy. But, yeah. They're busy getting some loving. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. your from last time. Uh, good times, good times. You know what was funny? I got just as I got more women that responded that liked it, <laughs> and I had more guys that responded that they hated it, which is Aww. because they, they're not getting any yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Good times. On that note, I think we'll end this debacle before we go off the deep end any further. And our neighbors get mad at us. Yeah, and we have <laughs> them tell us to shut the hell up in here. So, hopefully, you guys have a great day. Take some time to spend it with a loved one. Tell them how much you love them, how much they mean to you, and make today more than just a Taco Tuesday. We'll see you guys at the top, everybody.